So here we are back at the plum tree where it all started and we had remember the soot that was the uh, fungus attack and basically we treated the soot on these leaves here as you can see they're still alive with bicarbonate soda a couple of tablespoons in a litre with a bit of detergent then we killed the white fly with caustic soda that's sodium carbonate um, again a couple of tablespoons in a litre of water a couple of drops of detergent and a month later this plum tree from looking absolutely awful many of you told me is back and the crop may well have been saved but there's one last thing as these plums get riper and riper look at the little scars it's a battle zone it's me versus the insects coming back as these ripen up so I've got my magic weapon this is I've got this sort of discount store near me very cheap only I don't know two or three quid and it's lavender uh, mineral body wash but it's got real lavender oil in it and it's got some bromide which is an antiseptic and basically the idea is to give the tree a damn good soaking including the trunk this is to repel insects crawly caterpillars which are out this year and basically the moths which will come along to lay their eggs and maggots will hatch inside these juicy plums so am I going to beat them I don't know it's a battle but let's have a go so it's about four squirts of lavender oil um, mineral body wash four squirts into a, just over a litre a little spray bottle this, this was a pound from pound store near me you probably give it about I don't know 20 pumps or so and I'll crack on with doing that incidentally with any fruit tree like plum trees and apple trees always pick up your dead fruit as in fruit that's fallen um, because that contains pests and most likely um, those of you who've got grease bands I've bought some I was using the Vaseline method to try and stop the ants going up um, of course they can go across any other bridges that's if branches touch you can see already where um, you're going to have some possible maggots there and fly attack which can lead to maggots but with the lavender spray I'm hoping that the worst of the battle is over some of these won't make it but maybe I'll have enough to make some nice plum crumble maybe even some plum jam I don't know let's see anyway carry on with the spray the secret to good spraying is also to go underneath the plums don't just go on the obvious on top so really give it a damn good blast okay and on the trunks because that's where the little insects are going to and caterpillars going to crawl up so the idea is it's not about killing them with this stuff it's repelling them they don't like the smell you're masking the smell of your lovely juicy plums right with lavender so if you haven't got this stuff you could use 10 drops of lavender oil you can buy that in all sorts of chemists 10 drops in a litre a couple of drops of detergent and away you go give the whole tree a damn good good soaking make sure it's a dry day and there's no rain forecast otherwise your, all your hard work could be undone remove your dead plums your dead apples you can have a bit of a spray around as well I'm putting some comfrey leaves around this one keep the tree area clear but you can also put a spray around it but it's all oh, carry on with the spraying and hopefully by spraying underneath because that's where the insects are looking uh, flying around you can catch these plums and you have a nice little crop maybe in a week or two's time that would be sort of in September or end of all so if you're brave enough to grow plum trees and take the rough of the smooth then you can follow my methods of fighting the pests check out my videos of how to use bicarb and sodium carbonate or soda crystals a bit of detergent and this last thing which is a lavender wash this is to repel the moths etc you could also use a lavender wash I'm using now um, in April and May that's when the moths are really most active and the caterpillars start crawling up the tree in autumn um, well October of course that's when you can put your tree bands on I bought some tree bands this year for the first time the idea is get this lavender try and mash the smell of those lovely juicy plums and while you've got your dilute lavender oil spray why not give your apples a quick drenching as well while it's dry this is where you're going to have various coddling moths 
and other insects trying to attack your apples as they're ripening in the sun. So a little bit of dilute lavender oil goes a long way. These are all on dwarf fruit stock, but basically um, so it doesn't harm to give the trunk a bit of a spray now, towards the end of August, because your grease band's going to have to go on in September anyway. And this is a moth repellent, caterpillar repellent, and insects do not like lavender oil, so useful for not just for uh, plums, but also apples as well. Nice big juicy bramley there to be saved. Very useful addition to your orchard at this time of year. Okay, bye for now.